next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge. And this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. All right, good to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your hands, not fight. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Big punch lands through the middle. shot there. Just unable to quite find that range. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. 
big ball from Quest Land. Now he gets back to range. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, strike is to the midsection and strong. Jab now, no good. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Big punch land over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big kick lands. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He loaded up on that right hand, too. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Oh, wow! And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick. Land. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, fight. Right. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he... It's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toes. Watch the strike there, powers 
with the jab. Just out of range with that left hook. He's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab has landed consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Boom! He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Nice defense there. Huge block. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Just misses with the jab there. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. You gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Right hook to the head blocked. Great punch landed with so much power. Just out of range with that strike. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Single collar tie now. There's no tell on that leg kick. 10 minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish.
Third round underway. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Nice straight punch. Nice hook lands. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. A nice connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Nice one, two there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Good punch land. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Well, missed on that one. Straight punch lands. That left hook landed on the button. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Hands up, hands up. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Able to check that kick as well. Big punch land. Ooh. And they separate. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Just misses with the right. What a punch. so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. And they separate. 
Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly know how to oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. At eight seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Archibald. And there is the man of the moment. And what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's life. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud.